welcome back to my channel. So it's time to sit down and take a little time to talk about everything that I've loved in the month of October. And it feels like a long time since I've sat here in my living room slash balcony because I'm kind of in both rooms right now and talk to you guys. So you know this is going to be a chatty one where I just fill you in with anything that's been happening in my life. So before I get into any of that, let me show you what I have on my lap right now and he's biting me a lot. So this is a new little kitten that we're fostering. We're really not keeping him. He's so adorable, but we have two. So we're just fostering him. He's so cute. He is the cutest kitten we have ever had without a doubt. And he's so mischievous. He's just about one month old now. Like he was less than a month old and we began fostering him. It's been about 14 days or so since we started and he's so cute. So he's named Tarzan and look at how, look at how bratty he is. He bites us all day. Okay, enough kitten talk for this video. I have passed him on. Now let's talk about October. So October has been a very, very busy month for me. In October, I think the beginning of the month, I went to Delhi, came back, went to Thailand. There I went to Chiang Rai which is a city in the north of Thailand. Then I came to Bangkok, then I came back to Bombay, then I was here for one day, then I went back to Delhi, then I came back. Now I'm in Bombay. Luckily, the last week of the month has been a little bit calmer for me. So that's nice. I will be traveling again next month. So most of my favorites this month are sort of things that helped me on things that I used when I was traveling and I've gotten a lot of new products to try out and test but I have not got the chance to test them as much as I like so I will try to review them really soon. Regarding my Thailand trip it was a very very special trip for me because it was the first international trip that I went on solo. I've been on many international holidays but they've always been with my parents so you kind of take that like the whole process of traveling for granted when it's your mom handling everything and now I had to do everything myself. I mean part of the trip was organized for me but the Bangkok part I did everything completely by myself uh, right from organizing everything to booking everything to actually being there. So I was really proud because I didn't know how that would go. I was pretty nervous. I've never traveled before in a foreign country alone but it was so smooth. I didn't have any problems at all. So the first two Thailand vlogs from my trip to Chiang Rai are now live on this channel so you can please go check them out. The Bangkok vlogs are coming your way really soon and of course I'm going to try to film the haul videos also really soon because you can't go to Bangkok and not do any shopping. Also before we get into the favourites, the last little thing I have to tell you guys is I'm filming this video on a brand new camera. It's my first time sort of using this camera to film a video. I'm really really excited with the possibilities of buying a new camera and this is going to like help me improve my quality a lot but at the same time I don't know what I'm doing right or wrong this first time and this doesn't have a flip out screen either. So yeah, I'm just letting you guys know if you have any feedback like positive or negative on the quality of this video, do feel free to leave a comment about it. So the first three things I'm going to show you are makeup items that have been really nice to me all throughout my trip to Thailand. So in the past, whenever I've seriously traveled with my parents, I've never really worn makeup, never really cared about it while traveling. It was not a priority. But this time since I was vlogging, I just figured it doesn't hurt to kind of just get ready and like dress up and deck up a little bit every day. I still kept my makeup really basic and the first thing that I really enjoyed using is the Sephora Smoothing Primer. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this many times in the past as well in many different favorite videos. I don't remember how many times but I have like this. I go through periods of using it and not using it. Like today, right now, I haven't put it on because I'm just filming in my house and then like I'm going to take off my makeup later. But when I know I'm going to have a long busy day, uh, when I'm going to be outside and it's hot and stuff, I make sure to put this primer on. It's a really really small bottle. So I think when I first got my hands on this, I thought, oh my god, like this is not going to last at all. But you just really need a pump for your entire face. Sometimes I feel like even a pump is excessive. I don't even have to like take the whole pump, just kind of push it almost down and it covers my entire face. It helps my makeup stay on longer. It sort of minimizes me getting oily throughout the day. Like I still do get oily. If it's hot, I have to powder. But it just keeps that in check a little bit. 
it's not tinted it's just like a transparent silicone thing and it doesn't have any fragrance it really agrees with my skin i have sensitive skin as well this doesn't cause any issues and it's become an indispensable part of my travel makeup bag so much so that i was on the fence earlier like should i buy another one but when i went to sephora in bangkok i did pick up another one there was a price difference there also luckily it was a bit cheaper so i was like yes i will pick up another one but i'm still on my first one and probably since i don't use it daily but there's more than half in here and i've had this since january so it's pretty damn good and if you're looking for a primer do check this out i have tried the nivea men after shave balm also which is definitely a very affordable primer but the thing that i don't like about it is the scent is so very strong that does bother me i'm trying to put less heavily scented stuff on my face because it can make sensitive skin worse so i like that this just is not annoying at all and i thoroughly recommend it so the next are the two lip colors that i used a lot when i was in thailand they are both from colourpop by the way because i'm a big fan of colourpop and they're both ultra satins i discovered that i don't really like the ultra matte lip colors and i don't really like any liquid matte lip colors i know they're a huge fad many people like them because they stay for a very long time but at the same time if you've not been particular with moisturizing your lips they can start feeling dry very fast they can crack really fast i prefer satin finishes even though these may not outlast a meal and you might have to reapply them they're still more comfortable to wear the first one is one of my oldest colourpop lip colors i'm pretty sure i bought this the first time i ordered colourpop it's called prick and prack this is one of my favorite colors ever and i just bought a second one as well because i figured this is the one that i use the most and i'm going to finish it off soon and i don't want to be without it so this is just a very very good nude shade for me as you can see it's like slightly dusky pinky peachy nude and whenever i want to like have my lips and my face look nice but i don't want to like a loud attention grabbing lip color like blue some days i'm in the mood for blue then i'll put this on so it's just a perfect neutral for my skin tone and many more as well a lovely color so yes the second one is relatively newer as you know brown lips have been a, quite a trend lately and i used to always make fun of my mom for wearing brown lipstick because she said in her youth it was a trend and she used to wear brown lipstick and i swear like ew but now they've come back in and of course i've also jumped on that bandwagon i think everyone has so always remember even if you make fun of the weird makeup choices in your parents generation they'll probably cycle back and then you'll want to try it so this is not a full on brown shade i'm wearing it right now it's sort of a little like a yellowy brown if that makes sense i have a full on brown from colourpop as well but that can be a bit harsh for just every day it's like a bold lip color this one is still a neutral brown as you can see both of these colors i feel like if they do fade away slowly over the course of the day it doesn't look bad it just kind of disappears naturally as opposed to a matte lip color like if it starts disappearing from the middle it looks really weird but this you can be lazy with this i really enjoyed using these two ultra satin lips on my trip and so i had to include them in my favorites now let's talk a little bit about skin care i rarely ever talk about skin care here but still since one or two months ago uh, my skin started behaving really really badly for no real reason i do get that acne and pimples around that certain time of the month like many people but my skin was behaving badly like throughout the month which was strange and it kind of like irked me and worried me a little so i wanted to try some skincare range to just get my acne under control because i was getting acne i was getting pimple i was getting clogged pores i always have those problems but it felt like they were magnified so then i started using the la roche posay range for that i'm using three products in this range right now sort of like a cleanse tone moisturization routine all three of them are from the fr clar range the first one that i use is the purifying foaming gel for oily sensitive skin this gives me a lot of confidence because that's exactly my skin type oily and sensitive so it's great to have a face wash that exactly sort of is formulated for your skin type and your skin concerns the next thing that i use is the fr clar astringent lotion micro exfoliant so this is something like a toner basically and toning or double cleansing is something that i never tend to do in the past and this has made me realize just how important it is because even if i cleanse my face really nicely and it looks clean to my naked eye when i use this 
on a cotton pad it still always manages to get some makeup residue or some dirt and grime and that's so gross i'm finally getting that out of my skin before using this it it was still on my skin and i can kind of figure out <laughs> why my skin started behaving badly so yeah i really liked including these in my routine and the third thing that i use is one of their most famous products it's the la roche posay effaclar duo plus i've used this in the past as well and it did a good job of just sort of calming the acne on my skin but then i don't know why i sort of stopped using it i found that the range is working really nicely for me i've already been using it since the beginning of this month so i've completed one month using it but i want to use it for at least another week to 10 days and then i will film a video review so if you have any questions about this do let me know because i will answer it in the review the next thing that i've really enjoyed using since quite a long time actually is the Gillette Venus razor but this was something that was especially useful for me on travel so this is what i use to remove all of my body hair be it leg hair hand hair or underarm hair i do epilate areas of my face that i need to remove the hair from i don't shave my face yet but i'm curious to try that out because that's become like a youtube trend right now when i was in thailand especially i got to wear shorts and it's more socially acceptable to wear shorts there than here nobody stares at you nobody gives you a hard time so it's really fun and i kept my legs hair free with this and i also really really like using the satin care shave gel it works so so well but it doesn't come in a travel size it's a little big so it's perfect for use at home uh, even on holiday i did take it to thailand because it was a longer trip but if i go on a one or two day trip somewhere i may not take the shave gel with me but i will take this razor because it's perfect i've been so busy this month i've been so stressed i haven't been able to get a manicure or a pedicure not that i get them often but i felt like i need them now i haven't been able to cut my hair but my hands and legs have been hair free thanks to this razor it's a pleasure to use and i had to include it i've done a blog post on my blog on how to begin shaving if you're a newbie uh, if you have any doubts related to shaving if you just been scared for some reason there's no reason to be scared really but i know that before i started shaving even i was a little bit nervous but my mom helped me out because she's also always shaved and it's really the easiest thing in the world so do check out that blog post if you'd like one fashion item that i've really enjoyed using are my ray-ban sunglasses particularly one of my newest pairs this is what it looks like this is the ray-ban round shape and this is from like their latest collection this particular colorway i've always had this one in gold with the copper pinky flash reflectors but this is matte silver uh, with the blue silver reflectors i always wear silver jewelry so i really wanted a silver pair of this and i love this it's just it looks so cool i just check this out i've even worn it in a couple of posts on the blog this is just my favorite colorway and my favorite shape and Yes, I really like it. Ray-Bans can be a little bit expensive, but I do <laughs> buy like one or something every year or every two years. They are my favorite indulgence and they are made very very well. I did not carry this on my trip to Thailand though because I was alone. I didn't want to have to worry about expensive sunglasses, so I just carried cheap ones and that was good because I think I lost them. I can't find them anymore. <laughs> but i don't care that was the only thing i lost on the trip i really like these ray-bans though and i'm thinking of getting the spectacle version as well i'm not sure i did a ray-ban collection video last week where i showed you my four ray-bans this being the newest one so if you haven't checked that out yet please do so the last favorite that i have for the month of october is kind of a lifestyle favorite it doesn't really fit in that well with any of the others but it's still something that i've liked using it's a lamy fountain pen i think this is called the lamy safari and it's like the most affordable range of lamy pens so i've always really really wanted a lamy fountain pen but i didn't know if i could justify spending the money on a pen it's still kind of expensive it costs anywhere between 1500 to 2500 depending on where you buy it it's always the cheapest online so i just didn't make the plunge for quite a while and now i was so lucky to get this pen in a goodie bag at an event it excited me so much and i finally got to try a fountain pen in school we were forced to write with fountain pens it was quite a chore it was quite irritating and messy and stuff 
but I've always wanted to really go back and start writing again because my handwriting is crap and because I don't really write down stuff on paper much anymore unless I'm signing something like I'm signing a check or a letter or something I wouldn't really use a pen all of my words tend to come out through the keyboard now I wanted to change that in at least a small way this writes very very smoothly it's a pleasure to use I have a cartridge in it right now you get one free cartridge with the pen but it also comes with something called an ink converter which means that uh, you can just buy ink bottles and use that that's like a sort of a cartridge that you just fill up with regular ink so I've really really enjoyed using this it's smooth it's a pleasure to use it does not skip it doesn't like blot it doesn't run it always writes really smoothly I don't think the ink that I'm using is waterproof but I don't think I'm going to dunk my notes in water now am I so this was sort of the start of things and I've already bought another Lamy pen that's from the higher end all star range the exterior of that one's made of metal this one is just good quality plastic and I've also bought a couple of inks so I was thinking of making a sort of a haul video based on that I'm quite a newbie when it comes to fountain pens and I know that there are many experts on YouTube but let me know if you guys would like to see that because I think it would be fun to do that was everything that I liked in the month of October and feel free to leave any comments, questions or suggestions for me in the comment box down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. I have a lot, lot more coming your way next month that I'm really excited for. So thanks for watching this and sticking around. I'm really feeling the love. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.